Well, Brian, here we are at Stamford Bridge, and this, this is a big game for both sides, but especially Villa, who are, are really in need of points. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I think people like myself are here to see Villa play, and uh, irrespective of how Chelsea are doing at the moment, I think uh, it's it's a big game for the, for the team, you know, um, They've fallen a little bit behind at the bottom end, so you know any sort of result here today would be a step in the right direction. And I think that's probably where the manager sees himself at. You know he's been very bullish this week, which I'm, I'm pleased to hear. Um, and I think it's important that they come here and, and have a real go at it. You know, um, uh, you could say it's a good time to play Chelsea, but on the other hand, they've had a couple of weeks where they can behind the scenes get to grips with everything. So in that respect, um, they'll be dangerous as well. But I think from a Villa's point of view, uh, I think you know the game I last saw at Liverpool where they came out a little bit cagey at the start, I think that really sort of um, uh, really made it difficult for them in the rest of the game. So I'd like to see them come out positive today. They've got some really good players. I've seen some really good attacking play this season from the team. Um, I think, but on top of that today, then they've got to all sort of pay in a little bit with a little bit more defensive uh, uh, responsibilities. But the team's capable of scoring goals here today, and, and hopefully they can do that. They've scored nine away from home yeah. consecutively. That's the longest run in the Premier League. So the goals are there. It's just a case of keeping Chelsea quiet. It is, and you know, I mean, as I've said, there's a bit of a wounded animal here at the moment, isn't there? You know, so that's dangerous in many respects. But I have to say, what three, four weeks ago, when I went to the Leicester game, I saw a Villa team play for 60 minutes as good as I've seen a Villa team play for the last two or three years. So. It is there, it's in them, um, they've just got to see it through for a 90 minute period but um, it's a tough one today, I think we all understand that um, but I think there's been a lot of talking going on, a lot of things will have been said in both dressing rooms and uh, it, it, in, in, respect, in some respect you, know, you, you would imagine one of the teams is going to respond to either the criticism what's been going on um, and, and let's, as I've said, hopefully I'm here to hopefully see the Villa do that. And just finally, is the pressure off because Chelsea are champions? I know they haven't started well, but Chelsea are expecting to win. Can Villa thrive on that sort of thing? I think it's a different sort of atmosphere today. I think both sides have, have had a couple of weeks away from the, the, the football game itself. And, and will have been, there'll have been a lot of talking done in dressing rooms and in, 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 situ, in training situations. I think a lot of work will have gone on behind the scenes to prepare for this game. And uh, it, it's a tough one to call. Uh, but I think the preparation from the Villa's point of view would have given them an opportunity to sit down, iron out a few of the problems and hopefully they can get it right today.